what is up guys <laughs> tabs here from the urban goddess shop welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day uh we're sitting at value village and i'm ready to go do some sourcing uh, sourcing has been good lately i don't know what it is i don't know why there's so much good stuff but i've been having really good luck lately so yeah they didn't call me into work i was hoping to go to work today and they didn't call so i was like okay get ready go time get to the thrift store and uh yeah just looking for those fall and winter piece looking for quality items i feel like what i'm sourcing is doing well i'm making good sales i mean my sell-through rate is a little bit lower than what it was like months ago but i just feel like sales are just a little bit harder to make happen right now so i'm gonna beat it with volume listing and putting out more listings so yeah i need to feed my va about 100 listings a week to be where i want to be for sales and working on that growth of my closet trying to hit over that thousand um so yeah just just feeling good i think it's gonna be a good day i'm kind of feeling it and there's two people in line already so i gotta go get in line let's see what we can find oh my gosh what is this is it like a hookah pipe i don't even know how to pronounce it we gotta look at this Oh, what the heck? Ah, $20. It's quite heavy, actually. Interesting. Very interesting. Yesterday when I was here, there was someone getting like this giant elephant wooden sculpture. It was absolutely stunning. Like, these don't even do it justice, but these are actually really nice. $15. I feel like that's a lot of money. I'm gonna have to look these up really quick. Okay, checked it out. Solds are like $17 to $25, so nothing crazy. Pass on that today. Not that I grab home goods, but sometimes I'm like tempted to, you know? And uh, I just want to find a brass ornament. I've seen some like huge sales on eBay with like brass ornaments but I never find them. I don't know where people find these. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I just saw a guy rollerblade out of here stealing stuff and he was wearing shoes. So he put on the rollerblades and just went flying by me and out the store. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna Google lens this, but I think this is what I'm looking for, like a coffee drip, but it looks like you can put your, your coffee grind straight into it. Uh, I'm gonna have to look this one up. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for for the ambulance, so we'll grab that one. All right, Wendy, I am channeling my inner East Coast, trying to find a Le Creuset. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> uh, I don't even make pies, but I think if I found one, I would keep it for sure. Always return the cart unless someone grabs it for you. Good karma. And out we go. Let's see if rollerblader guys out here. I don't see him. He took off. He took off so fast. Whew. All right. Nice light bag, but that's okay. Got some good stuff today. So yes, this is a four pour over coffee drip, I think. It's in really good condition. It's such a tight mesh, so I'm excited. I don't even need coffee filters for this. I just need ground coffee. I may have overpaid for it, I'm not sure, but I don't care. That's exactly what I have been looking for. Uh, what else? I found... Wilfred top. Oh, there's the tag size medium. Definitely a fall piece. I love their long sleeve blouses, the crepe like material. Gorgeous piece. Um, grabbed a pair of, I grabbed, well, I grabbed those Daria uh, Wilfred pants. These full leather pants, they just sell so 
easily and usually for like 45 to 55 dollars um this is the older style of them but i find it doesn't matter and they were still selling this kind of style on the aritzia website last year for i think like a hundred and 130 or 140 dollars which is just crazy but they're they're a sought after pant um this is an this is a new to me brand it's i'm gonna call it a bolo brand so the brand is craft it's really hard to make out um where else did i see it on the pants i saw it somewhere else uh darn anyways okay so it says venter wind anyways what these are are um cross-country skiing pants and they're insulated they have like puffy in them i don't know what the fill is i did a quick comp search just to see what they um so the fill everything is polyester it's all polyester fill i did a quick check on google to find out what they retail for and the pants retail for like i found a pair of men's ones for 140 i just clicked on the first one to look at them so i these are some high value pants the brand is craft and retail value over a hundred dollars i feel like i'm gonna give them a wash and fluff up the the padding it's a little bit wonky and then, uh, yeah, I feel like I should be able to sell these for like $50, $60. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But excited about that. Next are these Lululemon pants. These are a size 8, older style, right price. They were asking $9.99, plus I had that 20% off coupon. So, like, what is that? $10, 8 bucks. That's pretty good. Uh, like I said, they're an older style, size 8. I, okay, good news. Oh my gosh. I, the, by the time this video comes out, it's already going to happen, but I got into a live training event through Poshmark. They put out this thing. It's an event bright and it's a fast track to live selling. So I think I'm going to do a live show coming up soon on Poshmark US and it's going to be a Lululemon show. So I'm currently looking for items to put in that show. So trying to keep my cost of goods as low as possible, but I probably will have some newer stuff that are, you know, some high value stuff in it as well. But I think my opening uh, show on Poshmark Canada, or sorry, Poshmark US, oh my gosh, it's hard to keep everything straight, is going to be a Lululemon show. And that's really one of the brands I'm known for, you know, Lululemon and Aritzia. I just don't think Aritzia has popped off quite yet. It's like starting to, like major cities are starting to get Aritzia stores and it's gonna be life-changing for resellers in the US because their products just resell for really high. Their, their sales don't, like the most they go on is like maybe 40 to 50% and the pants are $148 so they never really go super cheap at Aritzia and I think that's why the value holds so well in their brands like Babaton, Wilfred, TNA is a little bit of their like teen brand I would say but yeah I'm excited for you guys and then is this the oh I got two more pieces next up is a pair of Lululemon joggers I think these are probably like a 2018 and they have the little black one on the back so yeah good on those and then one more this is an older style one but i think i'm going to keep it for the show cost of goods is really good i paid like eight so like six bucks for it and it's just a lemon sports bra so yeah that is this haul so far today i think we should go swing by the other valley village just do a quick walk around see what we can find and if i can score like five more pieces I'm gonna call it a day, go home and start listing. Okay, while we're driving, I wanted to talk to you. I know I've talked about this before, but I had to talk about it again. So there was four, there ended up being four or five people in line in front of me. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be tough. Um, I know two of them are resellers as well. Uh, but just like proof that just because someone goes through a section before you, um, doesn't mean that there won't be anything left because we're all looking for different things but yeah they two people actually had gone through the athletic wear leggings section and passed up on the lululemons and i found how many two two three two pairs of lululemon pants 
and yeah, I was like shocked because I, I was even thinking in my head, I'm like, ah, oh, two people went through there, they're, they probably found anything that's good. But not everyone's looking for Lululemon. I need to get that out of my head. Not everyone wants to buy Lululemon at Value Village. Um, what other section? Oh, the sports, um, athletic tops and sports bras, same thing. Two people had gone through that section. I was kind of watching it. Um, it's like my third or fourth, fifth <laughs> section I go through. And uh, I still found that sports bra. I did find another Lululemon, uh, kind of like a newer style tank top, but they had it priced at $19.99, so I, I left it there. But I did find two pretty good pieces there. Actually, I think I found a couple other items that I, I ended up leaving behind. They just weren't worth picking up for resale but yeah if you ever go into the store and you're like I'm not gonna find anything like a bunch of people have gone to that aisle just go go and look you never know what you're going to find and your brand knowledge may be different than theirs so I'm using Lululemon as an example but I've had this happen on multiple occasions with various different brands and uh, your your best tool is your brand knowledge and your awareness of material contents things like that so never stop learning um, never stop flipping hangers and the more you source the more you flip hangers the more you look up comps on items the better you get at recognizing them so there's my little pep talk for today um, but yeah okay we're about halfway there Oh my gosh, it's so busy in here. Okay, time to hear. Okay, bad YouTuber. I did not record in the store because I was finding so much good stuff that I like totally slipped my mind. Anyways, I'm at the till and I'm like, so let's get into the car. I gotta share with, with you guys what I found. It's actually wild what I found. Um, ah, I'm just, yeah, this is so crazy. The last, like, few thrift days are, like, sourcing days. I don't want to say thrift because I kind of go everywhere. Today is just going to be thrifting. I'm not going to any buy, sell trades. Um, I spent a lot of money yesterday, so I'm going to give them a couple days to restock up. Um, yeah, okay, so today, some crazy finds. Uh, some good stuff, some, like... I don't know, some stuff you may not be excited about, but I am. Uh, first off is a Carhartt medium men's long sleeve shirt. I think I'm gonna keep this for myself as a work shirt just because Jeff and I are always doing work. And yeah, that's like a good ambulance building shirt actually. So I'll stick with that. Oh my gosh, these pants have been butchered. Oh no. I grabbed these Lululemon wide leg pants, but look at the bottom. They're like, they've been cut and then hemmed and then, I don't know what is going on here. Um, I think I'm gonna exchange these because these were expensive. So we'll save those, exchange those next time. Uh, one of my favorite brands to pick up cool so a pair of large hiking pants uh yeah i love this brand actually and i i don't want to say it, like i don't sell a ton of it uh, i don't find a ton of it it doesn't bring me a huge return but i think because we love hiking so much as a family it's just like if i can you know find some hiking pants for someone and they save 50 percent off of store value i've done a good job i've helped them get outside um i know personally i've never bought cool stuff brand new because it's so expensive and i'm just like that's crazy so if that's like a barrier to entry for hiking is someone having some proper pants and stuff um i like having those in my closet for people that are looking for a good deal next is a new to me brand and it is what is it merit Marrakech? 
Marrakech. Anyways, it's a very unique style jacket. Actually gave me like anthro vibes. So of course I had to look at the tag. And as soon as I look on the tag, flip it over, it says imported by Anthropology. So if you ever are like curious and you're like, this seems like good quality, that tag looks like possibly an Anthro brand, make sure you read the tag because usually it'll give you hints or it'll say Anthropology on here. And then I think the other thing is the RN number. I think it's 66170 is usually the Anthro brands. That's another quick way to identify them. Um, I've been on a Madewell streak and to be honest, I don't typically sell a lot of them. Usually they're trashed. When I find them, they have um, puckering on them. These really nice condition, dark wash, skinny skinnies is what they're called and they were size 31. I like that they were a larger size. I think if these would have been like a size six, size four um, or like 25, 26, I don't think I would have grabbed them. I think they would have had to have been like a 28 and up for me to take a chance on them. But they're next to new, so those are some good fall jeans. Uh, another pair of jeans, I love this brand, and I'm actually really pumped about this. So, Ariat, I love this brand, that's what you're looking for. They're a 33 waist with a long leg, and they are really long leg, like 34 probably, maybe even 36, like they are a long leg. So, yeah, I was excited about those because they're a unique size. So someone looking for a very unique size, um, yeah, I think those will do well. And then going in the Western vibe, I found this really cool Aztec print, Southwestern, like tapestry. Um, it's called New Identity. I would say it's like a small, extra small bolero jacket. And that's the back. Such a cool print. It reminds me of that Pendleton print that's that black and white and gray. I can't remember what it is. And then the, oh. Ah, I see now. Okay, and then one of the craziest, the other find that I got were these Birkenstock clogs, and they're in a size 41. As I look at them now, the flaw is someone's dog chewed on that little tab, but I'm hoping, I think I'm still gonna get good value for them. I paid $29 for these, I paid up for them but I feel like they'll do well. Even with a little bit of damage, I think these will do well because they're just so darn expensive to buy brand new. So that's a really cool find. I'm excited. I'm a little bit bummed about that flaw, but honestly, I think if I would have noticed it in the store, I probably would have grabbed it anyways. <sighs> All right, well, that's sourcing for today. I gotta go home and get this stuff listed. Uh, super excited for all the cool finds that I've been coming across. Um, honestly, like sourcing has just been next level the last couple weeks. It's been really crazy, unusual. Like I usually don't find this much good stuff. Now, what I have changed is that I've kind of been reselling a bit more full time. You know, I've I worked two days last week, but this week I only got called in for one day. So that means that I have the other days to work on my business. And I think just going to the stores consistently, more days of the week, I'm able to find more stuff. And that's probably my biggest tip is that you're, if you're finding your sourcing is dry. And I mean, I'm gonna say some thrift stores, some areas it's just generally dry, there's nothing I can do. But if you, if you have like, if you find spotty stuff, try just going a little bit more consistently. Even if it's just stopping in after work for 30 minutes and you go to the, the categories that you make the most money on, that you see the most return on your, on your investment, go and just do those quickly first and just look at the new tags. Don't go through the old stuff, just looking at the new colored tags. And um, I think, yeah, I think you could find a few more gems if you go a few more times. All right, well, unless you live in Saskatoon, don't go any more than you go because I'm trying to go and find stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's so crazy because I can go at so many random times and there's a lot of resellers in my area. There's a lot of people hustling and selling online. 
and not necessarily I don't think there's as many Poshmark sellers but there's a lot of like Facebook marketplace Instagram sellers so I have competition there's lots of people here and I still find things like you just everyone's looking for different things and sometimes I think you just got to stop in a little bit more often all right on that note I'm going to head out of here um, first time finding Burke clogs very cool I want to know what are you looking for right now what are you sourcing what styles what aesthetics what season have you switched into fall I think the consumer switch is gonna happen pretty soon within the next couple weeks like August 1st I think is when it switches that's when Costco starts putting out their snowsuits and Christmas trees it's so crazy but it's true people want to get prepared so yeah I'm trying to transition into more of those fall type items all right guys well I'm gonna head out of here don't forget to hit like and subscribe thank you so much for tuning in and following along on my reseller journey I hope that these videos help you out and give you some nuggets of information to help you find success in your reselling business as always I am wishing you guys all many sales and I will see you next time time to go home bye